Friends, a good morning as we now move in towards the third week of Advent time. We're just very aware here of the privilege of passing on the good news of Jesus Christ, but also very aware for those for whom this is a hard time of year. We're visiting our burial ground uh, to remember loved ones light a candle here, and those for whom have got big worries, mental health challenges. So particular prayers for them. I'm sure you'll keep your eyes out for acts of kindness you can show across our town. Some of you will know that again this year we're running on Christmas Day, our Alone at Christmas project. Up to 80 people have a lunch at the five-star Michelin restaurant, community centre, and more others will be having a hamper in their own homes. If by any chance that you are on your own this Christmas, make yourself known to myself or Chris Smith. We can include you in that project. So grateful to the Community Centre team and all our 45 helpers, generosity shown by the community for that project. And this reminds us to do all we can to light candles which shine in the darkness. This week we have many uh, fun things here with the schools coming in good numbers. But this Sunday night is our Candles by Car Candlelight service. Our Carols by Candlelight service, I should say. And uh, that's half past six. Please do invite friends and come along. We look forward to having a glass of uh, mulled uh, cider afterwards and a Christmas biscuit to share fellowship together. So God bless you this day. Our prayers are with you and have your eyes open for acts of kindness you can show. I love the words that say this, Lord, that I might see, Lord, that I might listen, Lord, that, Lord, that I might, might walk with you and my neighbour this day through Advent and every day. May God bless us and help us to share acts of kindness in a whole variety of ways. Thanks for all you're doing. Keep on going.